Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets review video. In this video, we have the Muka Robotic Vacuum Cleaner. So what this is, is a robotic vacuum cleaner that will automatically vacuum a single floor in your house, or you can even do a single room. In addition to that, it's programmable and automatically maps the room that it's vacuuming to ensure that it vacuums the entire room. It also works on hardwood floors and carpets and is only $195 on Amazon, so cheaper than a lot of the competitors out there. Let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. All right, comes in a nice cardboard box. I like that because you can recycle it. So it looks like on the top here, we have a user's manual. It's pretty large. We have the charging station right here. Remote control for setting the timer and also the mode of the vacuum cleaner. An extra brush and some tools and screws. Power adapter. The actual vacuum right here, I'll set that to the side. Some more brushes and what looks like a filter. And I know this has a HEPA filter in it, which is awesome for allergies. And that's everything in the box. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the vacuum. All right, so we have the vacuum right here. Let's go ahead and get this bag taken off. As you can see, it has a very nice kind of glossy finish on the top with the Muco logo. There's one control area right here. It looks like there's a home button and a power button all in the same area which I assume turns it on and then also sends it to the charging station. On the sides here we have, looks like the sensors on the front and the sides. Then in the back it looks like we have the cartridge which catches all of the debris that is picked up by the vacuum. So pretty easy to take that off and also put it back on, which is going to be great because you'll be doing that quite often. Take a look at the bottom, we can kind of see how this works. So right here you have the sweepers and what this does is takes things and kind of throws it right here so they can be caught up in the vacuum. Now this is advertised as being pet friendly. They say that it won't get tangled up or clogged with the pet hair. So something to note if you have pets. Right here we have the wheels and as you can see they have nice grips on them and they're also kind of have a suspension on them so they can get over little humps or different dividing areas between hardwood floors and carpets without any problem. So that's pretty cool. And then you have the directional wheel up here in the front. As you can see we have the charging connectors so probably want to make sure that these stay clean and then the battery is right here. So just as kind of an example it looks like the home base just kind of will slide in right on the front right here so it'll just drive itself on here automatically and start charging. There is a light on top of the charging base so that you can see if it's actually charging and this just uses the adapter to plug into your wall and then charge the vacuum. So now we'll take a closer look at the remote. As you can see on the top it's kind of shiny so this will look good sitting around your house. It does take two double A's and they're not included so just something to note before you get this. The buttons on the front right here these are the control buttons so you can control forward, backwards, left, right. You can control the direction of the vacuum if you wanted to drive it around for some reason. You can also pause it so you can stop it right when it's working. These buttons right here are kind of automatic. So right here is automatic clean mode and that will have it just automatically clean whatever area it can. So it'll go as far as it can on a single floor. This is perimeter mode so it'll clean around the edges of the room. And then this is single room mode where it will just clean one room. It will not leave that room. Right here you can set the current time. You can schedule it for a future time and then you can enable it to go back and charge. This just sends it back to the charger. And that's all the functionality right here. I'm going to go ahead and get the charging station set up and we can see how the vacuum cleaner acts in my apartment. Okay, so I have it set up here of the vacuum and then the base station right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and then hit the home button and see what happens. So now it's trying to orient itself and find the home station. Just like that, it was able to find the charger and is now charging. Pretty cool. Okay, so now as a test, I'm just going to hit the automatic clean. So it'll just clean this area. And we can kind of see how it does and how it acts in this room. So it is getting under the furniture, as you can see. So now as a test, I've placed some random just items right here and we'll see if it picks it up and how it does. So as you can see, nothing left behind. Did a good job of picking up all the debris on the ground. So my ideal setup for this vacuum is to take advantage of some of the furniture that it can easily go under. So what I've done here is, as you can see back there, that's the charging unit. I placed it under my TV stand. Now we will just sit back and see what happens when I tell the vacuum to go home. So hopefully it can find its way under the TV stand and then just tuck away and hide under there. Alright, so it took it a couple minutes the first time, but I think 
now that it has oriented itself under there, it should be fine to be able to charge itself and hide under my furniture without having to be in the way. Especially in a one bedroom apartment, this is a big advantage. So now we'll test it, I'll hit the automatic cleaning button and we'll see what happens. So now we'll test out this perimeter mode to see what happens. So it's kind of just going as far as it can on the perimeter and vacuuming under all the furniture, getting all the edges. This is really cool and a lot of those places never get vacuumed with a traditional vacuum. So I think this has some advantages to it for sure. Okay, so now what we're going to test is see, as you can see, it is 1.08 p.m. I have a cleaning scheduled for 1.09 p.m. So in one minute, it should start cleaning. Let's see what happens. All right, so it quietly woke up around halfway through the minute, but it did work automatically. All right, so as you just saw there, this vacuum works very, very well. So first thing I want to point out on this, check out the top of this, there's some scratches on here, and then you can see some scuffs on the front and the sensor. This does kind of bump objects. As you can see right here, this plastic area compresses in, and that's part of the sensor that tells the vacuum, hey, I hit something on this side or over here, and then it will kind of back up and correct based on that sensor. So you can expect this to get a little bit of marking on it and some scuffing and scratches on the top if it's going under something and gonna get it scratched. But overall, the vacuum works amazing and it's very surprising how well this works for a price of only $200. I let it do the automatic cleaning in my apartment. It ran for about an hour, hour and a half and hit every single room. Didn't have any issues returning back to the charger at the end. I was very, very surprised by that because when it did decide that it was done vacuuming, it was in the bedroom. So it had to make its way all the way from the bedroom back into my living room and under my furniture. And it did that in about five minutes. So nothing disappointing there. Very impressed with how smart this thing is and how well it is at navigating and figuring out objects around it. It did have one issue while vacuuming and that was just, it ran over a USB charging cord and and kind of sucked it into the uh, compartment back here so it was kind of on a leash for a little bit so I think if you're gonna have this you want to make sure you clean up the floor don't have anything on the ground that it can suck up now the cord was not damaged I just pulled this open and freed it and it was good to go so overall a very very good experience all the different modes work very well the perimeter mode it does a good job of staying on the perimeter went under all the furniture and made sure it got all these edges all these things that had never been vacuumed in my apartment because the furniture sitting there this was able to get under them and clean it up very surprising there the timing feature worked great it didn't go off as soon as it hit the minute where I had the schedule for it but about 30 seconds into that scheduled minute it did start, so it worked perfectly, and then it completed the job and went back to the charger with no issues. Another shocking positive is how quiet this is. When it's on carpet, it's very quiet. I was on a conference call and no issues. No one said, hey, what's that noise? Nothing like that. When it's on a wood floor or a hard surface, it's gonna be a little louder, but no issues with sound. It's not loud at all. It's actually extremely quiet and very surprising. Now, when we were first looking at the vacuum, I brought up the suspension. Very surprised with it being able to maneuver over objects. I have a chimney in my apartment and it has kind of like a stone area in front of it. And this drove up on that and got a little stuck, but it was able to work its way off and then it just didn't go over that again. So very shocked with how well this maneuvers and just surprised, like I've said several times. There's a lot surprising about this little device. One thing I do want to show on the bottom of this is just so this ran through my entire apartment. As you can see, there is a little bit of hair stuck in these brushes, but that's why they provide this tool right here that has a knife on it, right? As you can see, a blade, as well as a brush. So we can get in there, I can cut these hairs free with this easy to use blade, and I can clean it up, and then it will be ready to use in the future. If you do have any issues with this, it's easy to clean, and this tool is very useful. Another thing that is great to point out is these sweepers. If they do wear out, you got some backups right here, so you could just put those on, and then you're back good as new. So very important impressed with the tools and the replacement parts that were also included for free, as well as a brand new HEPA filter. Another thing I want to show is how easy it is to remove the container here that collects all the debris that's picked up. So you just pull that out, then you just pull this up right here, and then this is where everything will be kept. There's your HEPA filter, so you can pull that out, and then the, the HEPA filter is right there, so you just push that in. But this is very easy to clean, and you can just empty it very quickly. I do recommend doing this every day. You could probably get by every two days, but it does fill up. This is a good vacuum, and it seemed to pick up a lot of dust. So battery life overall, if you have this in the automatic mode, it's gonna clean until it gets to a lower battery, and then it will go back to the charging station, and it will be ready to vacuum again. 
Charging, I would say, takes about two to three hours. That's what I've found in my testing. So that's not too bad. You're only gonna be using this maybe once a day. The controls were very easy. The remote is very responsive. Everything works great, and I'm very surprised with this. I would highly recommend this product to anybody looking to get a robotic vacuum, but they don't wanna spend four to $500 on an iRobot brand. If you have any questions about the MUCA robotic vacuum, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to add an Amazon affiliate link to the description so you can find this exact device on Amazon. If you'd like to see more pictures and a write-up of this vacuum, check out my blog at gauginggadgets.com. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gauging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.